Goes and builds. My name is Larry. Today I'm going to talk to you about a little another project that I'm going to start next weekend, and the project is this. What you're seeing right now, it's a barber chair. A barber chair that I've had in my backyard collecting rust for about over a year. Because it's winter, can't go riding anymore. Why not start a new project? Motorcycles going to storage, have all the space. So this barber chair, it's been outside for about a year and it's be my second one and the way it sits just by looking at it it is missing a few parts but for the price I paid that's what you get there are a few options that you could one you could go out and buy a beautiful barbecue chair that's already chromed and decked out you get to pay about between three to eight maybe eleven thousand depending on the model or second one, you could buy one between eight hundred to two thousand dollars, which are not the chrome, but you gotta chrome it. The material is torn, and you gotta redo it. Or you could do like me, find one about three four hundred dollars that's missing pieces. And you might say, well, so much work, and it is. You are right. It takes a lot of time on the web looking for parts and pieces, and then to install it. You got to know what you're doing, but it's worth it. I'll show you mine. This is my very first barber chair. That, this barbecue chair you see, I picked it up $300. I went all the way to the States, picked it up, brought it back, four hour drive. And when I got there, I didn't even notice what was missing. I just like, wow, barbecue chair, I want it, I need it. And it was in semi pieces, the headrest was out, was on the floor. Uh, no, sorry, the backrest was out on the floor, the wood was cracked. The leather was ripped, the chrome was peeling. And I said, you know what? For $300, why not? So I went, picked it up, brought it home, and I started taking it apart. And when I started taking it apart, I noticed that I was missing some stuff. The mechanics wasn't working. And I was, it was okay, but it is time consuming. It took me over a year and a half to build this chair. Because, you know, you get a barbecue, you don't know what you're getting. You don't know what's missing, what's not pissing. So you got to go on the web, find parts, or find a picture that matches yours. And then you got to order it. Then when you order it, it comes back. It doesn't fit. It's not the right one. So you got to send it back. You know, it's very time consuming. But it is fun. I found a guy that did the wood. It was cracked in a few places. Right here was cracked. This corner right here was cracked. The guy did a beautiful job. The leather was completely torn. I redid I redid the leather. The chrome itself the chrome itself was completely peeling apart. I took it out took all the chrome by myself, got a chrome plated, the mechanics was rusted, I took it apart, I cleaned it, found some pieces on the web and put it all together. Now this barber chair was taken out by me, I gave the wood and the leather and to someone else to redo it and putting the chair together was me and it was completely fine, I enjoyed it. The only thing was this chair is 80% finished. You see it, it's all done. But the headrest is not original because the headrest is about $400. And I told myself, $400 for a headrest that needs to be chrome, that has to be leathered, 
it's not worth it. So I made it myself and I gave my little touch to it. As you can see, it's the same size. I found the measurement. I put motorcycle seat springs and also over here this little cross are the bolts that hold it and they are motorcycle license plate bolts and also the chair and also the chair came out beautifully another thing that it's not Another thing that the chair is not complete right, it's the recliner brake. It reclines but doesn't stop in the position that you want it to stop. It's either you go full front or full back. And the reason for that is the brake inside is not working. And it's impossible to find the right brake because they don't make pieces like that. It doesn't come with a manual. So you can't just pick up the phone and order the part number. You gotta search. So and if, every day I go on my break at work, look, see if that piece is available. And I found twice, two of them. And the two of them that I bought, same thing. It's worn out. There's no guarantee. You can't send it back. Oh, well, I'm waiting. But it's 80% uh, works. I do it. I enjoy it. It goes up, it goes down, it reclines. And that's what I'm doing to the other one that you saw lying there all rusted. It's going to be another barber chair. It's a bit newer. My chair is over 100 years old. And that also, when you're looking for a chair, the older it is, the more expensive. And the, but the more expensive it is, the harder the pieces are going to be to find it. So if you're going to buy an older chair, try to get as much as it together. Now, if it's falling apart, but everything is there, it is worth it. It's worth it. you guys. I'm not lying to you. Just in the chrome itself was over a thousand dollars, but my chair is worth more than five. So it was the investment. It's not selling it. I'm not selling it. It's for me. This barber chair that I'm doing, it's for my wife. I got some ideas on it. Uh, I'm try to get a black chrome, white with orange stitches. Those are our cup, favorite color, white and orange. So I'll put it together. And hopefully it won't take as long as it took mine. There's still pieces missing. And that's it. Come back next week. I have another video on. I'll show everyone how I take it apart. How I tag my pieces. How I... Uh, little tricks that I do myself not to lose any. I'll tag it. I'll show you exactly how I do it. And not, what I'm going to show you is not only for the barber chair, for anything that you take apart. It's, I've done it to my barber chair. You know, you see some TV shows, you know, you tag it, you bag it, and you store it. I do more than that. I tag it, I bag it, I write notes, I take pictures, all that. So, come back next week. I'm going to start taking some pieces apart. And from there... We'll do this barbecue together. So for a couple of weeks, I'll be on my working on the barbecue, and uh, hopefully that I find all the parts so we continue working. But there is to be some points on this journey of ours that we'll be doing something else for waiting parts or waiting for the leather to be done or waiting for the chrome to be done. So that's it. So I'll come back next week. And we'll start in the barbecue chair. Hope you like this video. If you do, press like. If you have anybody out there that wants to see some barbecue chairs, tell them. Tell them to subscribe.